This is News Channel 5 at 6. Good evening, and thanks a lot for tuning in for News Channel 5 at 6. I'm Dale Hoffman. Up first tonight, the days of freezing temperatures are causing a lot of trouble for water systems across the state. The extreme dips in temperatures have brought down the water pressure and caused pipes to burst or freeze up. In tonight's top story, News Channel 5's Mike Magnolia is in Natchitoches Parish with a look at what folks there are having to put up with. Parish officials decided to close schools early to conserve water, so at Central High, kids were waiting for their ride just before noon. And at the Magnet School, it smiles about the 11.30 dismissal. <laughs> and what college student is going to complain about another day of sleep? Northwestern canceled afternoon classes in lieu of the reported water issues. I woke up this morning and went to the bathroom, and the water took a long, a long time to heat up, and that was pretty much my morning routine, and I came to school. And I canceled class on the first day. And those reported water issues vary inside the city limits. Just a trickle for pressure, no hot water, but the city was never under a boil advisory despite some of the rumors on the street. And of all the places that News Channel 5 stopped in to visit, this is what we saw. The water was trickle coming out of the sink. I took a shower this morning. It was an interesting shower. It was about a half-powered water, but I managed to get through it. My customers coming through the drive-thru has commented several times, asked us the first question, do we have water? And then the next thing, they said they didn't have water, and then... You know, some of the places they tried to go eat didn't have water, so fortunately they came here. But north of the city of Natchitoches, here in Campty, things have been far worse. On Sunday, the water tower actually emptied. Wait, everything's electronic in the uh, control room. David Grainer is the manager of water operations in Campty. He says the trouble started because a computer froze, literally. We had a transducer went out uh, early, sometimes Saturday night, and the water went down. And although our maintenance department tried very hard to prepare for this, they wrapped the pipes, they did everything they knew what to do, but it just unfortunately wasn't enough. We're on your side in Natchitoches Parish. Mike Magnoli reporting, News Channel 5. And we checked not too long ago, and the superintendent says Natchitoches Parish schools will be back in session tomorrow. And in Campy, the pressure is coming back full force, but until further notice, the town's under a boil advisory. We'll let you know when the advisory is lifted. Well, Natchitoches isn't the only Sunla area experiencing water problems. Colfax is just now turning the water back on after the pressure in their tanks dropped so low they had to cut off the town. They're hoping the pressure stays up because if it doesn't, the town will have to turn the water off again late tonight so that the pressure can build back up completely. One school in the area isn't taking any chances tomorrow. Kids, this is for you, Colfax Elementary will be closed tomorrow because of water issues, but only Colfax Elementary. In the meantime, new meteorologist Sarah Black is in the forecast center to tell us how much longer the cold is going to stick around. Sarah? Well, definitely for tonight and through tomorrow night. Now, the afternoons, they're actually rather pleasant, but the evenings, so they are going to be brutally cold. Temperatures already falling. We're down to 40 degrees. Out at the airport, we will eventually bottom out around 25 first thing tomorrow morning. Therefore, we are looking at another hard freeze warning in effect for not only this evening, but more than likely tomorrow night as well. Be sure to protect your pets, your plants, and also your pipes. But by the end of the work week, temperatures look to be warming up. We'll also be seeing better rain chances as well. The full details, and a look at your extended forecast in a few more minutes. In a minute indeed. Okay, thanks, sir. A couple of teenagers are in trouble after trying to rob a family at gunpoint. Police say 17-year-old Charles Keel and a 16-year-old boy followed a family leaving the Huey P. Long Hospital. When the family got to the car, they say Keel and the other suspect pulled a gun and demanded money. One of the victims pushed the suspect with the gun, and he and his family were able to get into the car and then call police. Authorities caught up with the pair a short time later, hiding behind a home on Webster Street. This man, 32-year-old Terrence Hingston, is accused of beating a child with a large piece of wood so severely that he left bruises across his back and legs. Police say they were called after the child told his mother and grandmother that Hingston beat him because of some bad grades on a report card and then forced him to bathe in Epsom salt and peroxide. Hingston turned himself in police a short time later. He now faces charges of cruelty to a juvenile. And then another case of child abuse. This guy was arrested in a Boyles parish. Deputies tell us 24-year-old Tyrone Murray molested a 6-year-old girl. The victim's family told police back in December, and after an investigation, they took Murray into custody. He is now charged with aggravated rape and oral sexual battery and is being held on a one-half million dollar bond. 
Fort Polk emergency officials are looking for the mother of an abandoned baby. Now, they say the infant was maybe two weeks old when he was left at a fire station on December 6th. Officials believe the baby was delivered someplace other than a hospital, and they're worried about the mother's welfare. Military police are leading up the search, and if you know anything about where this woman might be, get in touch with Fort Polk MPs. The number is 353-8226. Now, Louisiana does have a safe haven law that allows infants to be turned over to the state without questions or consequences, but the law does require that the baby is physically given to a person, not just left on the doorstep. Well, a mother and two children are dead after a fire over the weekend in Opelousas. It happened Sunday evening on South Academy Street. It appeared the fire started in the kitchen and slowly spread throughout the home. Brittany Sion and her two youngest children, Alaya and Timuron, all died, apparently of smoke inhalation. Investigators say the family could possibly have made it out alive, but their house was not equipped with a smoke detector. The first woman Chief Justice of the Louisiana Supreme Court is recovering today after having a stroke yesterday. Chief Justice Kitty Kimball, who's a native of Alexandria, underwent a successful procedure to remove blockage and is recovering. This is according to a statement from the Supreme Court. The 64-year-old Kimball has been Chief Justice since January of 2009, and she is the first woman elected to the state's highest court. She's been credited for essentially resurrecting the region's court system after Hurricane Katrina hit the state caused a lot of trouble back in 2005.